Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Know It Today with Atul and in this video I am going to show you how to set up Frappe ERP Next in an ARM based machine and in this case we are going to use instance okay uh, it is going to be an oracle instance and instance is of type uh, Ubuntu it's an Ubuntu Linux and I have a video on how to create this free instance of uh, Ampere okay and uh, you can watch this video i'll link it in the description also it will be shown in the end also we are using 24.04 version of the ubuntu okay and it's a canon canonical ubuntu so we are going to install frappe in this and it's an arc arc or arm whatever you uh, see okay and we are going to set up in this and we are going to follow this step these steps that are given here in github I'll link this also okay now uh, what we need to do is we need to log into our server I'll log in I'll clear it and uh, now what we need to do is firstly we need to clone this frappe repository so let's do the clone and to run on arm so to run on ARM, we need to follow these steps below. Firstly, uh, I'll do CD into this after cloning. So we are inside our Frapper, Frapper repository and these are the files. And now before doing this, we need to do this Docker build X bake no cache set platform this, but there is going to be an issue that Docker is not installed. So I will install docker first. So I'm going to use this app repository method very fast. Now next I'll do install this CLIs. Now what we need to do is we need to check if our docker is working fine. So it will pull the image. Okay. So docker is running fine in our case if i do docker ps then it is giving me uh, an error so to solve this error i'll search this and uh, so we need to run this command okay and uh, we need to run this command and uh, in our case the user is ubuntu so docker ubuntu we need to have a space and let's see if it helps no it still doesn't help so this is what we need to do okay so i think this part is done i need to do this So operation is not permitted okay so i do sudo su to run a set root now i'll exit it now i'll see it's still not working so i'll do sudo user mode whatever the user is and i have to do reboot Let's see if this works. This should be working, working as it is not having this permission. Docker PS. Okay. So it works now. So we have solved the issue. Okay. Now, once the Docker part is done, we are able to run Docker. We need to perform the steps below. We need to build this. It, it is going to take a lot of time so bear with me
okay this process is completed now let's come to this part now after cloning the repo this command we have run and then we need to add platform this to all services in pwd.yml so let's open let's do ls there is a pwd.yml so i'll do vi on it and yes we are here so there are going to be 11 services here precisely i'll enter into insert mode by pressing i and now i am here and i'll go i'm not a vi user <laughs> so bear with me i'll add this and also we need to do something else replace the current specified version of erp next on pwd viable yml with latest so we wherever we find this right version 15 there we need to do latest okay so let's do latest here and this was the second one this is the third and platform will add it this is the fourth image and here it's a mariadb image not a frappe so that's good this is front end image latest and q long here also i'll have to do latest how many it has been okay let's do latest here and yeah <coughs> red is q red is alpine for cash now scheduler and latest and this is websocket here i'll also do latest and uh, i think we are done so i'll escape and i'll enter command mode in this i'll do write and append and exclamation and q a exit so we have done all that process now let's verify the content of pwd.yml so i'll do cat yml so okay platform is added i'll clear it again now let's see what's the next step next step is uh, we can just run the command and it should work oh i think the command wasn't copied properly detached mode so it is saying uh, compose app use this file to spin all the com containers and up it in and detached mode so once all the things run it will come back to this terminal it is pulling the images creating the containers five volumes are created 11 containers should be there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so yeah now let's see docker logs okay we need to mention a container so let's see docker ps and let me increase the size so these are the containers that are running and these are the ports and these are the names now what this says wait five minutes for you to create or check create site container logs so 
it will take time for the site to create so we'll check the logs of the container of create site so docker logs frappe docker create site one so it is installing arp next right now it will take some time so let's check the docs again that's clear so current site is in done setup is done okay now we'll follow the next step we'll try to open the access the site now uh, what we need to do is before opening browser on port 880 so we'll open we'll copy the ip public ip okay and on port 880 we should be able to access our site and it works now for it to work like you need to also make sure that you go to your subnet settings okay and go to default security list and here you add an ingress rules because initially it won't be there so you need to do this and destination port range you need to add 8080 so with this you you will open the open the 8080 port which is not enabled by defo default so you come to here you do this and here you can do 8080 in this way uh, it will work okay if it is not opening for you now just do administrator and uh, admin as the password and it should work and you will have your ERP next setup done on ARM machine and I hope you like this video and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe the channel for more stuff on Frappe I'm constantly updating my videos with latest Frappe implementations and I'm also learning along the way. I've learned Docker now to understand uh, better how to install Frappe and custom apps. So I'll be doing more custom apps installation. And this is our Frappe instance. All up and running. Okay. So I think it's good. So yeah, uh, don't forget to subscribe the channel, like the video and Keep learning.